<laughs> Zoom. <laughs> ah! So I use the trays themselves as a sifter. They're kind of nice. You can kind of see how they're, they have holes in the bottom. What's been sifted through the, uh, and it's still kind of, it's like little pebbles of clods of dirt. Aha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh, but I have a plan. And that's, it's, it's called azomite. We'll put a little bit of azomite on this, and also I went and, and to um, Lowe's and bought a $10 bag of organic chicken poop, chicken manure. We're going to put chicken manure in our sprouts? Well, well, we'll put it just in the soil. Well, just in the soil. It won't, you know, and the stuff that grows out of it won't even touch it. it sounds smelly. It is, but we're talking some really nutritious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They taste surprisingly, I, I really sustaining, really good in this form. But they're good. <laughs> but we're gonna hold off and not eat them yet. Nah, just put them in the layer of buckwheat seeds. I sprouted for like a day or so after soaking them overnight. I just kind of fill in all the blanks here, you know, all, all the spaces. So and how long will it take once these are planted? It'll probably take about a week to 10 days to do this. And, uh, you can kind of see, uh, it's like my babies. They're crying out, plant us! Say, say when I get really busy, what I'll do is I'll take the sprouted seeds and I'll put them in the refrigerator. And that kind of They're getting cut into squares. And because it's like this, and it's okay, why we are covering it up is because this will keep moisture in. Are you preferring this method over jar sprouting? Well, jar sprouting is just a different thing because uh, this, at the 7 to 10 day mark, has, has absorbed and pulled up a lot of the minerals. And uh, the minerals are all, as it's called, chelated, which means they're, they're in this form that um, is easily assimilable by the body. Whereas, say, mineral and water, mineral water, isn't as assimilable as getting it from green leafy vegetables and green plants and chlorophyll, especially live live uh, sprouts that are just harvested, then what happens is the, um, the life force energy is intact and when they're blended up or put through a juicer and drank right away, when something is living and we eat something living, it makes us more alive. Fancy that, huh? Mm. being out here and doing this 
from start to when I actually get to harvest a sprout and put it in my body, that part's healing. Yes, without a doubt. But what I'm beginning to understand is just the whole process of being outside and connecting with Earth on this seed level. It's, it's like challenging me. It's making my brain work in different ways. It's um, getting me to really take responsibility for my food. Um, it's, it's, it's a humbling, very humbling experience. Huge learning, huge, huge healing that I'm going through. Just keep on keeping on. Yeah. Okay, over Woo! and out. Signing out. <laughs>